Just a quick reminder before we get into the lesson to download the hands-on lab exercises that accompany this complete CCNA course. I'll include the link in the description. Also remember to subscribe and hit the notifications bell so you don't miss any of the lessons in the course. Okay, let's get into it. In this lecture, you'll learn about backing up the iOS system image and your config file on your router or switch. You can back up either to an external FTP or TFTP server or to a USB stick or you can back up to flash in the device. The reasons that you would want to do a backup you could back up the system image to an off-box TFTP server so that if you need to recover the image later, it saves you downloading it again from the Cisco website. It's going to be handy there already on your TFTP server. Obviously, there's no point in backing up the system image to Flash. It's there in Flash already anyway. Reasons we would take a copy of the backup config is if we want to roll back to that later on. We could again take a copy to an off-box location or it might be more convenient just to do it to flash in that case. Okay, if you do want to restore an old version of the configuration file, you can't just copy it into the startup or running config because if you do that, it will be merged. It's not going to replace it. And if we want to restore, we're going to want to do a re uh, replacement, not a merge. So the way that you do that is you first off factory reset the device, you then copy that old config into the startup config and then reboot and then you're back with that old config. Okay, the different commands to take a copy of our system image or to take a copy of our config file. Some examples, we could do copy flash TFTP. The iOS system image is in flash, so that's the command you would use to back up the system image. We could do a copy running config TFTP to save a copy of our config off box on a TFTP server. Another example is copy startup config USB. Okay, so let's have a look at some examples in a lab environment. With the lab, I've got a router at 10.10.10.1 .10 .10 and I've got a TFTP server at 10.10.10.10. .10 .10 .10. First couple of things I'll do is I'll back up the system image and the running config to the TFTP server. So let's go on to our router first. And if I do a show flash here, you can see that the system image is C2900 Universal K9MZ is what it starts with. I just want to show you that it's not already on the TFTP server. So I'll go on the TFTP server and you can see there's no file already there that starts C2900. So I want to have a backup of the system image on the TFTP server. So the way I do that is back on my router I say copy flash TFTP. It will ask me for the source file name. I'm going to copy and paste that from the show flash output. Then the address of the remote host is my TFTP server. That is at 10.10.10.10. .10 I want to use the same file name on the TFTP server as well. So I hit enter. And I can see there it goes copying the file over to the TFTP server. If I now go back onto the TFTP server again and just refresh this, so go back to the services and TFTP, I can see the file is now on my TFTP server. Okay, so that's how you take a backup copy of your system image. If you wanted to take a backup copy of your config, I'll go back on the router again. And for this, I will do a copy run to TFTP. We'll copy my running configuration there. It'll ask me where the remote host is again. The TFTP server is at 10.10.10.10. .10 .10 .10. And it'll ask me what I want to call the file name. 
I will call this R1 dash Monday because it's a Monday here today. It's a good idea to put the actual date on there. Obviously a bit more specific than just Monday. Hit enter. It's a really small file, so it takes next to no time to copy. If I go back on the TFTP server and refresh this again, you can see there is the backup of my configuration. Okay, so that's how you back up to a TFTP server. Next one, let's take a backup to Flash and then restore it. So I'll go back on the router and I'll do a show flash and you can see that I don't have any backup files in there right now. So I'll do a copy. Actually, let's um, show you the change happening. So I'm on hostname R1 right now and I will take a backup of my running config. So I'll say copy run to flash and let's call this r1-lab for the file name. Okay, and now I will go to global configuration and I will change my host name to r2. Now, I haven't saved it to the startup config yet. So if I wanted to get back to r1, I could just do a reboot but as soon as I do a copy run start, that host name is now in both the running config and the startup config. So I do a show run, I can see my host name is R2. And if I do a show start, the host name is R2 there as well. So let's say I don't like this new config and I want to get back to the old config. Really, in the real world, where this is useful is in a lab or a test environment. So say that you want to do some lab exercises and then you want to be able to easily go back to the startup config for the start of that lab. What you do is you set up the starting configuration and then save a copy of it to Flash and then you can then go and make whatever changes you want. Then to get back to that startup config again, what you do is you do a write erase to erase the startup config. So when I do a show start, you'll see that the startup config is gone. Then what I do is show flash, just to check the name of my backup config. And I'm gonna do a copy flash to start. The source file name, I will copy and paste. So I will paste that in, it was r1lab. The destination file name is gonna be the startup config. And now if I do a reload, when it comes back up again with a little bit of luck, it's going to be with the original configuration and the host name is going to be R1. So there you go, that worked just fine. Okay, so that is how you back up your running or your startup config to an off box server how you can also take a backup of your config to Flash and how to restore from that if you need to later. See you in the next lecture. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to get the complete course ad free right now, then you can enroll in my CCNA Gold Bootcamp by clicking the link above my head or in the description. It also includes full study notes, quizzes, and 150 pages of additional troubleshooting labs you can't find anywhere else.